back here at the NRA National Firearms Museum, nestled here in NRA headquarters, and we're nestled back here. I'm here with Phil Schreier, my good friend, senior curator, back here in the, well, it's called the Beretta Gallery, but it really is, should we call it the Roosevelt Room? It's or? the Roosevelt Room or the Beretta Gallery. Beautiful. So that's where we're at. Behind us, just a little, t Phil has lovingly reassembled the, the part of the, the Roosevelt, what they call it, the Summer White House? Summer, Oval Office of the Summer White right. House, yeah. Sagamore Hill. Yeah, so when you get here for Farms Museum, we're going to talk about this beautiful farm. you got to get back here uh, and, and check out every piece of this. It's 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 live, it's history, it's living, it, it's awesome here at the Farms Museum. But Phil, I digress. Speaking of awesome, this firearm you have for us today, what is it? It is gorgeous. John, this is absolutely beautiful. It's one of the most beautiful rifles that we have mm. currently in the museum. It's on loan to us from our good friend Peter Dowd up in uh, Massachusetts. And it is an exquisite, the finest 73 pattern sharps that I've ever seen in my life. So where do you start with this? There's so much to talk about on this farm, go ahead. Well, it's, uh, it's a pattern 1873. It's a uh, percussion, breech loading, mm. single shot rifle. And this is done in the finest engraving yeah. and figuring of wood uh, that this relatively new company uh, was able to produce. Uh, you know, they wouldn't really come into their own until tens of thousands of sharps were bought during the Civil War. But mm -hmm. the interesting thing about this, this is the 1853. You can see this has what they call a slant breech, whereas the other sharps, the, the breech is more perpendicular. This is uh, at a little bit of an angle. Now, this is a special target version. And uh, this same type of what we call vernier tang sights shows up on the sharps that are most famous for the buffalo hunts mm -hmm. of the 1870s. Uh, but you know, November is coming up in a few days. There are a number of interesting anniversaries in November, of course, the Marine Corps and, of, and the NRA on the 17th of, of November. Uh, but it'll also be the 155th anniversary of the day that uh, William Coffey uh, won this rifle as a prize, as inscribed here on the plaque, uh, on the very uh, first Sharps target excursion, they call it. <laughs> and it's dated 1858, November 2nd. Wow. So uh, a number of years before the NRA was even formed, Jeez. the Sharps collectors out there were already having shooting matches where they were offering prizes like this. Today, this gun, I think at auction, would bring, uh, you know, well over 100000 if not a quarter of a million dollars. Wow. And that was one question I was going to add. But it's so great. You talk about history, predating the NRA with, with early day, And this is, this is living history. This is farm. It's in incredibly good condition for its age. And... It's just amazing to, to, to for us to be able to sit here and folks on, on to be watching at home to be able to see the ex, the great detail and how it's been preserved is tremendous. It really is, and uh, Mr. Dowd's been very generous to us in loaning us not only this sharps but a number of other mm. extremely uh, incredible pieces. Now that uh, the uh, work with the uh, NRA National Sporting Arms Museum is finally open. We're going to take some time back here in Fairfax Ooh. and bring out some of Mr. Dowd's collection. Awesome. And that so is. hopefully you'll be able to see that, that on your next so visit. That is so great. So and, and, and it is great. You guys are, are really, a, uh, you and Mr. Dowd and, and the other folks in the museum here, you're just stewards of it. You're giving us this gift of, of history to be able to see it and, and come at it and look at it close up. And it's just, it's, it's a treat that we get to keep this history alive. and be able to see it because this is a big part of what our country is all about is where we came from where we're going and 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 firearms and just are so important to the history of our country they really are and pieces like this are just they're real works of art beautiful all right so how can folks see it here they got it okay i i know you guys have an awesome online presence and i love it don't get me wrong but it's something to see this thing as close as i mean you can come and see it in a case in 3d like that. yes yeah. absolutely so how can they come and see this well you come off of interstate 66 at the intersection of route 50 that's in fairfax virginia uh that's open seven days a week from uh, 9 30 to 5 and uh free parking free admission uh you can visit us on the internet at nramuseum.com 
And if you're in the Ozarks, you can come by and see the NRA National Sporting Arms Museum at the Bass Pro Headquarters flagship store in Springfield, Missouri. Uh, this Sharps won't be there, but there, there are a few others down there. Beautiful. So come and see them both. So when you, whether you're visiting out there in the Ozarks, visit there. When you're coming to D.C. area, you got to work a trip in here. It's, I'd say it's a, a must-see here in the D.C. area to come see the National Firearms Museum. It's beautiful. And either place you go, you got great food there, barbecue, and great food here at the NRA Cafe. So how can a guy go wrong, right? Absolutely. Phil, thank you so much for sharing that wonderful treasure with us here on Curator's Corner. Thank, thank you, sir. Thank you, John.